Hi everyone, thanks so much for some really great discussion this week. One of the biggest things that I really took away and just found interesting was kind of the discussion about if we still would study psychology um, if we were students back when Wundt was really starting and pioneering um, what we call modern day psychology now. Uh, so thank you Dr. Tompkins for bringing that up. Um, you know, personally, I don't know that I necessarily would have been studying um, psychology under Wundt with that whole, with all the sensation and perception, um, different elements that's super important, definitely. Um, but hearing from other people, too, that maybe, you know, psychology as we understand it now in terms of some of our introspection and different, like, clinical counseling and, like, talk therapy and that, how that still was kind of coming with psychology and whatnot, that therefore we may have chosen a different field. And so I think that in itself is important to look at and see how, you know, the history of psychology, that recognizing it's still important and how I, you know, I'm still finding great value from this class and seeing how it's developed and grown, even if it's not necessarily what my main focus in psychology is. Um, so I think that was really just interesting and neat for us to talk about. Um, in addition, just bringing up Evan House again and kind of how we talk about memory and cramming before exams and how we kind of like know better that we shouldn't be cramming, but we still do. And that goes against what Evan House was saying. Um, I just always think that's interesting when we know one way that's better and yet it still doesn't always happen. And why not? So overall, thank you very much for chatting um, about uh, just really where we would be with psychology and if we would still be students depending on um, kind of how the breadth of psychology and how we understand that has changed over time. Um, so thank you all.